Welcome back to Bloody Disgusting Fiends. I'm Vanessa Decker, and tonight we are back on the black carpet for the Los Angeles premiere of Godzilla, King of Monsters. Just when we thought that this ancient super species was a mere myth, they are now rising and coming back. <laughs> Tonight's gonna be exciting, um, but you know the drill. Before we get all into the movie and everything, let's catch up with the cast and creators of the film. My name is Griffin. I am the lead pilot for the G Team with me and O'Shea Jackson and Anthony Ramos and we basically take on all the monsters. We're the fighters, so we're fighting against them. There's a lot of a lot of wind and rain and fire, so working with all those elements can make things a little complicated. But it was awesome either way. So I play Asia. Um, he's the son of Charles Dance's character. Um, I'm a mercenary. I want my dad's love, like I think most men boys do. I want his praise, I want him to give me a pat on the head and say good job. And you know, we feel justified in what we're doing. But any of the monsters? I meet a, I meet a couple of them. I can't really say any more than that. The three-headed monster? Gonorrhea, I like to call him. <laughs> That's not his name! We all had that, haven't we? <laughs> I think it's just like the imagination of like seeing what you're seeing. I think it's that. That's kind of the hardest. Because you're literally looking at a blank screen and it's like, okay, there's this monster. And, He's about to rip your face off, react, and so, you know, just trying to make, make those truthful reactions is kind of hard. How was it working with Michael? Michael's amazing, and he's such a fanboy as well, so his passion and energy for it just kind of, like, makes the days go a little bit easier. That's nice, and your other fellow actors? and Love them all. My favorite is Charles Dance by a mile. I was so intimidated to work with him. And then, actually, he's just like this really old, cool deep geezer. Oh, shit, I just called him old. And I just swore as well. Yeah. Yay! Oh, your hair! You look fantastic. You look fantastic. No, you no, okay. <laughs> Stop it. Okay, what was the most challenging thing that you had to do while shooting your character in the movie? You know, I would say um, the physicality of it. It was actually quite challenging. You know, I trained a lot um, to, to make myself physically able to do this. Um, so, yeah, that was probably like, like that right there. Actually, on so many times that scene kept blowing me because I was so small and like the wind, I'm like always like uh, uh, where all the other actors could like stand there and be cool. I'm like, oh god, can we turn it down a little bit? <laughs> what we are witnessing here is the return of an ancient and forgotten super species. I play Sam Coleman. I'm a uh, communications liaison to the Monarch Agency, which like tracks and monitors the, the monsters. Yeah, it's one of the most important roles in the whole thing. You're going to see the movie like, thank God Middle Dish was there. Um, I wrote the loudest score that I, I could and probably that has ever been written. I mean, the scale of this movie where all your characters are larger than life, literally, you just had to have music that could accompany them, that could back them up. So, what influenced? Obviously, your loud and well, the I wanted. I, I'm going to talk very seriously about this music. Thinking about Godzilla is a very academic exercise. I don't know. No, I um I brought in a taiko ensemble, and I recorded them in Tokyo, but they didn't bring their drums. They had their outfits, they had the bandanas, and they were chanting. They were doing uh, what is called kakegoa, a traditional kind of vocalization that these grunts and calls and chants that um, are distinctly Japanese, distinctly masculine, and I added it to Akira Ifakube's classic Godzilla themes from 1954. So it, it updates the theme in a way that I think preserves what we love about it. It adds something even more Japanese to it and I kind of beefed up the arrangement so that it sits at home with blockbusters in 2019. 